Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Kiko, and we are going to be working on some downstay. Now, what we're going to be working on is not only applying some distance to the downstay, but also being able to move around. I want Kiko to understand that I'm able to move around while she has to keep her position. So I got some food here. Kiko, down. Yes. Stay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking just a couple steps back. Yes, and then I'm returning to my original position. Stay, and you see I'm treating Kiko and reiterating that stay. Yes. Stay, now as you can see right there, Kiko actually rolled her hip, which is an excellent sign for any kind of down stay. It just means that she's more relaxed, less likely to pop up. So I'm actually going to reward that. Stay. Stay. Yes. Stay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start walking back and forth. And like I said, the goal here is that I can move around, but Kiko has to keep her position. So I'm going to go ahead, treat, stay, and reiterate that stay. And I'm going to start moving around. Uh-uh. Now right there you see Kiko popped up, so I'm just going to go ahead, put her back into position. Stay. And we're going to try that again. Yes. Stay. And you see, I'm just walking back and forth. Yes. Stay. Like I said, I just really want to instill that idea that Kiko has to keep her position while I can move around. And it doesn't matter where I am, she has to stay there. I really want her to understand that and be able to settle down. Yes. Stay. We're going to do that one more time. Yes. Step on the head to release, okay. And that was a really nice job from Kiko. You can see she did a great job staying down. And you can see when she did pop up, just put her back into position. I didn't treat her right away. I didn't encourage that popping up. Overall, really nice job from Kiko though. I'm very happy with the progress she's made concerning her downstay. Very nice today.